Welcome to Creations by Karen and today I'm going to show you how to do the sunflower two ways. One on a unique in the Creek flower board and two on a wire frame. Uh, but I was hoping to have help today to do the UIT Seek board but he's ill. So I'm going to do a two-part series. I'm going to do the UIT Seek board today and then one day this week I'll do the or maybe I'll do it next Sunday. The um, wire frame one. Okay, so this is a wire frame that I'm going to be using and this is one that I've done on a wire frame to show you guys the difference and I'll hold it up um, when I'm done. So this is a UITC, or sorry, this is a wire frame and I'm going to break down the cost of this. Right. So these frames were $1.50 at the dollar store, 14 inch frame and this board from the Unique in the Creek is $5.92 Canadian. Uh, so, yeah, it's a little bit cheaper in the States, but this is what I pay $5.92. Uh, because I'm doing, if I was doing it on a frame, I would need a lot of accessories to go with this. So, the Unique in the Creek board t works out to be cheaper to do than this, all right? But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do the flower um, on the Unique in the Creek small flower board. Now a lot of people use the large flower boards to do this. I'm using the small. Good morning, good morning. Is this the large? No, honey, it's the small. I like small. I like the small. I don't know why, I just do. Um, and this is once again the 14 inch wreath form. So when you're using a 14 inch wreath form, you have to put mesh in the center of it, like this. Um, and then you have to work out <coughs> the logistics of where to put the petals in. And I'll do that next Sunday. Uh, it's Easter Sunday and I'll be doing it from home. Um, but I'll show you that. And then, of course, you need something to cover the back of it if you're using a wire frame. And I use these big yellow placemats that I get from Dollarama here in Canada. Don't try to find any in London. Sorry. Um, and this is the um, mesh that I'm using for the center. But like, there's so much more stuff that you need to get with the uh, wire frames. Um, and these get delivered to my house. Anyways, we're going forward. Uh, so you're going to need a small flower board. You can use a large. I'm choosing to use a small. And this is what it looks like. And I'm going to, I have preloaded all of these because I expected to have a friend with me. Um, and then a hanger. I'll put a hanger on it. <clears throat> So I'm going to use 40 pieces of 10 by 10 yellow poly burlap to use to do this um, because I'm going to double up the center of it because that's just what I like. You can do whatever you want. That's just what works for me. And I've gone ahead and done that. Oh yeah. Oh, toss it. Stuff. Okay, so this is the poly burlap that I'm using. You can get all of this from uniqueinthecreek.com. Uh, this is a poly burlap. It's 10 inch uh, by 10 yards. And I cut it at 10 inches and I did use a wood burner. If you don't use a wood burner, it frays a bit. And it doesn't matter whether you get it from Unique in the Creek or anywhere else, it still frays. Good morning, guys. Okay, so <clears throat> this is my board that I've preloaded with all of my tie wraps. You can get all of this stuff at Unique in the Creek. So I'm gonna put 16 petals on the outside. On the second row, I put eight. The third row, I put eight. And in the fourth row, which is the center, I'm putting eight. So I'm gonna share, use shared holes on this. Are you ready to get going? Okay, let's go. Good morning, everybody. I'm sorry I'm not looking at your comments because, you know, whatever. And so time me. Okay? So it is 9.05 Ontario time. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and let, let's add 10 minutes for the prep of the of the board, putting the tie wraps and single stick, whatever. Okay? So I just place my petal in, and I just go all the way around. And zip it close like that. And I put the whole outside ones on and I've got them already done. 
Well, wait a minute, you know what I forgot to do? Show you how to make the pedal. This is a D Michael fold. Give me one sec, I'll put this in and I'll show you how to do the pedal. I got disheveled this morning, not having my buddy here. All right. Dean Michael Fold. 10 by 10 piece of poly burlap mesh. <clears throat> Put your uh, finished edges to the right and the left, and then twist it so it's on a diamond. Take your bottom to the top. Now, I like to put a clip on it, like just, uh, just like a close peg, I guess. Just put the clip on. Put one on here. I'm not looking at your comments, guys. I'll go through and look at them. And All right, so there's my triangle I've made. Just pull it a little bit, and I make just one ruffle in the center. Two and three, and then I do two to this side, and then I put a rubber band on it. You can get these clear rubber bands. I found out uh, my Dollar Tree isn't carrying them, the clear ones anymore. They have black, which doesn't work that well for me um, with these, so I ordered them on Amazon. So there's the D Michael Fold, and I keep the clip on it. Good morning, hey. Do another one. Dean Michael Fold, brilliant person. Okay, finish edge right and left. Come to the center. Put a clip on it. Clip on this side. Clip on this side. And then make one ruffle in the center. One, two, three, four. So it has a pleated look, which I think works really well with this. All right. There you go. Are you good? Give me a thumbs up if you guys are good. Got the fold. I'll do it again. We'll put these in our board. Preloaded board. Okay. So once again, there's 16 petals go on the outside. Perfect. Thanks guys. 16 on the outside and all the other rows have 8. Alright. Good morning wizard. My neighbors are coming in. Alright. Let's come around and put all these in. And this is the easy part. Let's put all these petals in. Mindless, really. And I did, of course, all the petals ahead of time, just for time, because I'm at the market. And it opens at 10. And I had to, have to make sure that I'm done by then. You get the clips at the dollar store. Thank you very much, Sue. Appreciate it. You can answer some questions for people. That'd be great. So you just come around. They just overlap slightly and the light just keep them like this. And they keep, they keep the clips on there, the close pegs. And these are pretty reasonable price. You can get like 24 for like a dollar fifty or something at uh, the dollar store, which works for me. So just come around once again. Eighteen or sixteen on the outside on the wire frame. I put eighteen on the outside, so I'm using a couple of more pieces of mesh. Um, but it works good. Okay. All right. Just go in and put these in. like this. It takes no time at all. And I put them all in and then I go ahead and cut all the um, clips or the tie wraps. And I'm using uh, 6 inch tie wraps, 18 gauge. And I got them on Amazon. 
but I think you can get them at Unique in the Creek. <clears throat> so basically, you can get everything you need to make this sunflower at Unique in the Creek. And I can tell you that sunflowers are crazy popular here. Good morning, everybody. Is it going dark? Is it going dark for you? My screen's going dark. I don't know why, but whatever. Doesn't seem to be on there. Just come around and put all these in. Six go on the outside. Just like this. And I'm going to hold up the one on the wire frame, and then I'm going to hold up the one that I've done on the UITC board, and you're going to see that they, they virtually look the same, but this takes way less time. And you know, I don't charge for my time when I'm selling my wreaths, but if you did, it would be way more cost effective to use a UITC board than a wire frame, because Honestly, it took me so much longer. And then I'm going to go around and cut all these off. Just like this. So my first row's in, and I don't take my clips off. I don't do it to the very end. Just to make sure that everything stays where I want them to. Just go around and clip them all off. Lori, I can't find my... Um, nippers that I got in my kit. I'm going to have to order another kit just to get the nippers. I just love those. I'm thinking, I'm hoping they're in between like the cushions on my couch. Alright guys, that's that part. And then I turn these heads to the side. Just like that. So they don't stick up. Just go around and turn all your heads to the side. Okay, going into round two. <clears throat> okay, round two only has eight. So you just come in, once again, just place your petals down. Keep your uh, clips on. See how it's fitting right in between uh, the two there? Zip it closed. And I, these work out really fast. That's lucky for me because yesterday was great. Just place them down. Where's Anthony? Anthony is feeling a little under the weather today. Sorry. Um, he texted me this morning and said that he was feeling under the weather. And uh, he says the story's not here. But next week, next week he won't be here either because I'll be doing it from Craft Central. It's Easter, Easter Sunday. Market's closed. Which is kind of nice. Have Sunday off. So just go around and put eight in your second row. All you need, and this works up really fast. I believe I use I use one roll and um, a few pieces because I'm actually putting more in the inside than I normally would. So I use a roll in a bit. But you don't have to double up your inside like I do. That's just a choice that I made. So if you just wanted to do the singles, the four, then go ahead and do that. It's no problem. So just place these down. And you want them to be all about the same. You don't have to make them perfect. Nothing in life is perfect. Okay, I think it feels better. Sure, as well. It's not uh, 
feeling the best today, so I chose to uh, stay home, I guess. All right, <clears throat> there's my second row in, eight petals. Just come in, clip them off. And then I'm gonna do my third row exactly the same. So clip them off. And if we were doing this together, I would be doing the wire frame and he would be doing the UITC board. But instead it'll be a two part series, I guess. So just turn this to the side. And then start putting your petals in your third row. So really, the hardest part about doing this is folding the petals. Well, cutting them, I guess, with the wood burner. See how I'm just placing it in? And it's fitting between the two there. You could sell all this candles today. <laughs> except I don't know anything about candles, except they smell nice. Just put your petals in. And I'll hold up the one I've already completed on my frame and show you how um, they look together, side by each. So just put these down. I think I sold four yesterday, and we had freezing rain and stuff here, so yesterday was a good day. People love their sunflowers. I mean, they're pretty. I like them too, but let's put these down. Now, when you come to the center, normally it has four, but I'm doubling up the number that is going in the center. So it makes a little congested in the center where I want to um, put my center here. You guys saw that? Who's late to the party? Is it next Sunday? Palm Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. Is that Palm Sunday? I don't know. Palm Sunday? Is that what they call it? Here we call it Easter Sunday. Everything is closed. No, next Sunday is not Easter Sunday. No, next Sunday is the first, right? The weekend of the first. No, Easter is the following weekend. Okay, we'll do it on the um, UITC and a frame next week. Because I'll need them anyway. So Anthony will do it with me. We'll do one on a UITC board and I'll do one on a wire frame next week and we could show you the difference love your facial expressions really okay thank you is that good all right clip them off now like I said I'm doubling up on the center so I've already put four tie wraps in and like I said you can get all of this stuff at Unique in the Creek the boards the mesh the tie wraps uh, nippers you can get there they have I think she even has a kit it's Polly Burlap Valerie good all right so here I've already got four loaded in the center you see that there's my center one, two, three, four. I'm gonna double up that, so I'm gonna have eight. So because it's gonna get a little congested on the inside, what I do is I take my mesh and I cut it. Cut the, um, I cut them in half. Where are my scissors? What have I done with my scissors? Hang on, I, get a, I got an unhappy face. Palm Sunday is one Sunday before Easter. Okay then, that's, that's good, that's Palm Sunday next week. I need scissors. Got him. Okay, good. That's good to know. Palm Sunday. Alright, so just take this 
got my garbage handy because this gets everywhere. And what I do is just cut this mesh where I've, um, so I cut it down the extra so that they fit nice in here. So there's one. They fit nice and they don't cover up those two holes that I'm going to need to put my center in. Just like that. Okay? And I cut these off kind of as I go. So there's one. This is two. And this kind of gets everywhere, but that's what the rooms are for. Just cut the excess off. Place it in. Two. Good morning, Mar. Happy belated birthday. Two. Turn it to the side. Three. Like I'm just cutting the excess off. Just because it's too congested on the inside. It's just the way I do it. People you don't have to do it in my way. You do it every way you want. You just make it so that it looks good, I think. You don't want to cover up those two holes in the center because we're going to place the center on this, right? You're welcome. The tie I haven't had by all. This is four. How's it going, everybody? Are you following all this? Here's four. <clears throat> now we're going to double up this inside row. So it normally has four. Did you make the center you will put on it? No. I got it from Unique in the Creek because I wanted to have everything that you can make this that you could order from Unique in the Creek. They don't pay me to do this. I just I endorse them because their stuff is off. Who agrees? Unique in the Creek are awesome. Watching closely. Okay, Judy. All right. So here's my board with my four in the center. But see the spaces? I don't like it. So I'm going to double up the inside holes. You agree? Watch it closely. Thanks. All right, so just take your tie wrap, go in this hole, and in the one adjacent to it, like this. And really, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to do this. See this back? So I'm just putting the tie wrap in here, and then I take it and I close it. <coughs> then I take another piece of mesh, clip off the excess, cut the excess off. Which I've made a horrendous mess under here, but that's okay. Like that. Excess is cut. Place it down in. And then take your pliers, needle nose pliers, minis. And zip it close. Have you ever smacked yourself in the face with this? I have. Not pretty. Alright? So there's the extra going in. Cut this off, turn it to the side. So look at the difference here. So there's the one that put in the shared holes right here. And it covers up all evil. So put another one in. You're going to try to come to see you today. How long are you there today? Market's open until 2. 2 o'clock. Okay, place it in. Come to the one next to it here. Now look at the back of this board. I don't have to do anything to it at all. Which is, is one of the best things about these boards. Like, you don't have to worry about everything looking ugly in the back. Take pedal, cut it off, 
the excess just like that take it place it down make it pretty and make it closed two more oh I like it I like it Time. Seriously. Seriously. No time at all to put this together, people. Found your cat. Thank you very much, Lorraine. She enjoys going to New York <laughs> on Sundays. Come on in to the one hole. I'm going to put it in the one next to it. Shared holes. Close your tie wrap. And I'm doing this because I wanted a little extra. Then take your petal that you've made, a Dean Michael fold, cut it up. So you're just cutting the excess off the bottom. Because what I don't want to do is cover those two holes in the center, because that's where my center part piece is going. Okay? So you just place this in, zip it closed. Looks like you made them all colors. Like, yeah, I could do this and everything. Look at this one, it's red, it's got a little ladybug on it. You know, people are crazy for, crazy for sunflowers, but they like anything that is remotely unusual. And I make a lot of unusual stuff, putting my last petal in. So, take a zip tie. Come in, using a shared hole this way, this feels not right, it's backwards, you want to have the flat end facing the ceiling, and then put your metal in. Now I'm going to show you something else that I do. And this is just because I'm OCD. You don't have to do this. I do it because, you know. How are your sales in Canada? Good? Yeah? No complaints here. I mean, it's always quite a bit quiet in January and February, but, you know, I made my rent, and that's all I care about in those two months. It picked up quite a bit, and we have huge construction around the market. People are still finding their way. All right, so take your, this, zip it close, right? And then, flip that off. There we go. All my petals are in. So this is what it looks like with all my petals in. And clips. Look. There we go. Now, put the center on. I have my center. Yes, I got it from Unique in the Creek. It's just a brown center. And I put one of these, uh, what are these called again? I don't forget. I forget what you guys told me they're called. The little Can you see it? Cable mount? Cable mount. Yeah. So I just put a cable mount in the center with um, E6000. I didn't use hot glue. With the, and that, that bad boy is not coming off. Cable mount. Okay. The two holes that you have in the center, I haven't covered them up. They're still there. That's exciting. All right. So I'm just going to place my center piece in the middle yep you can get everything of this at the uh, unique in the creek dot com and then I give three twists at the back I'll show you in a sec right three twists just like that I'm going to clip these off these aren't good scissors 
I use these to cut canvas. Cut the dog and then place this in, back into the center holes. So nothing is going to scratch that door. And if you are so inclined, you can put right in the center there your logo or thing. Yay. Okay. So this could normally be done. That's what it looks like. UITC board. But <clears throat> because I'm going to sell these in my market, when I take these off, these clips, I take a little bit of hot glue and put a little dab on each one. Now remember, I've used uh, a glue gun, or sorry, uh, um, I have a moment going on here, uh, wood burner to cut all the mesh. So it's certainly not going to fray like normal. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off. But if you have ones that look like they're coming apart, just put a dab of hot glue on it. Okay, guys. So just take these off. With this bad boy, it's done. So I spin it around as I'm going. I look at my petals. See if anybody needs a little dab of hot glue. This one does. So just a little dab here, not much, just a little wee dab. Okay, just to keep it in place. Take all these off. It's pretty. Take all these off. I need to put a little bit of glue on. At the end of my glue. All right. <clears throat> Good morning. I love your study. I'm glad. Okay. This is our finished sunflower on a UITC board. This is part one. I'm going to show you next week part two. All right. So. Here we have my UITC flower board. Small flower bowl, and this is the back. I'm gonna hang this one up. Beautiful, thank you. This is one that I did on a wire frame. I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna put this one up. Up, pretty. Okay, and this is the one that I did on a wire frame. And this is the back. So if you look at them together, they pretty much look the same. Don't you think? What do you think? I put a little bit of um, yellow dots on this just because I thought you know, I would. Um, so as you can see, they look the same. This takes way less work. This took a lot more. So next week I'll do this on a uh, wireframe and uh, it won't be as much fun. <laughs> And it certainly won't take like a half an hour. Well, it will because I'll have everything ready. But you guys get the drift how this is so much easier than this. And my time is precious, right? It's worth the extra dollar I'm going to spend on this week board. Hands down. So go unique in the creek. Get the sunflower kit. You get nippers with it. That's, that's worth the dollar for me. 
What do you think? Okay, it's a lot more work. Yeah, yeah, totally. I agree. I agree. It's too much work. I mean, I do them because there's people that, you know, can't get the unique in the creek boards or don't choose to. Uh, so I show them how to do it on a wire frame, but yeah, it's not as much fun. You want to see how to make the, it's a D-Michael fold. You can go to the beginning and watch it, but I'll show you. I'll show you one more because I'm going to make another of these today. So 10 by 10 piece of mesh. Take the bottom to the top. Put a clip on it. I put the finished edges on the right and left. Put another clip on it. And one on this side. This just keeps everything together while I'm doing the fold. You don't have to do this. Just me. I'm into the middle. Make a pleat like this. Call it a pleat. And then I do one more and two. So I have three on this side. And then I add three on this, two on this side like that. Just take a clear rubber band, place it on top, take the clips off, Dean Michael pedal. All right, so that's it guys. I'm sorry Anthony wasn't here today for you. Um, I'm sure he's fine and um, I'll let you know. <laughs> Um, and I'll, we'll, I'll see you next Sunday at uh, 9 o'clock. I'm sure you'll be here. Um, and until then, you guys have a great, great week. If you're watching this on YouTube and enjoyed what you saw, uh, just like and subscribe. I come on every Sunday morning and show you how to do cool stuff. You're welcome. Um, and until then, love you all.